Hi everyone, today I am on a bit of a mission. I'm heading to Koh Rong, a small but fairly undiscovered tropical paradise island just off the Cambodian coastline. But to get there, I need to take a 30 hour bus ride from Bangkok, Thailand, right down to the south of Cambodia to a small place called Sihanoukville. So have I made the right decision taking a 30 hour bus ride or would I have been better off just buying a plane ticket and getting there in an hour and a half? Keep watching. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm in Bangkok. I just booked my ticket to Cambodia. I'm heading to a little island called Koh Rong. Uh, I'm going basically to get my visa stamp. I thought I'd visit the island whilst I'm over there. I've never been there before, haven't got a clue where I'm going or what I'm doing until I get to Cambodia where I'll start trying to sort things out. This could be an interesting mission. Now a lot of people are asking, why have you bothered taking a 30 hour bus ride when you could have just caught a plane and been here in an hour and a half? Well, there's two reasons actually. One, because I'm traveling and I'm on a budget and of course it's a lot cheaper going by bus. And secondly, because I've never been to Cambodia and I actually wanted to see a little bit more of this beautiful country from ground level rather than just flying over it. So there you have it, my answer as to why I'm taking a 30 hour bus ride from Thailand to Cambodia. Well, as to be expected, after six hours on the minibus, I find myself at another pit stop. Um, I haven't got a fucking clue where I am, excuse my French, but it's already started. Uh, at this stop, they took my passport off me and said, I've got to have a visa as well, which has just cost me 1,500 baht, which is pretty much 35 quid and 100 baht for the photo, which is two pound 50 and a hundred part for the guys drink as well, as to be expected. So there you have it, another 30 quarters of coffee. Uh, yeah, another pit stop, we'll grab something to eat. I'm not gonna stop for another three hours, so the guy tells me. So time to have a little um, freshen up before we get back in the minibus. That's it, I'm at the Cambodian border. Just wondering where I'm gonna get um, fleeced next. When you arrive at the border, you first have to go through the Thailand passport control where they stamp your passport to say you have left Thailand. You then have to go on a five minute walk through what I could only describe as no man's land before you get to the Cambodian passport control. There, they stamp your passport, check your visa and bingo. Welcome to Cambodia. And that's it, in the background look. I'm in Cambodia, get in there. Well, <laughs> famous last words I hope it's not a mission I'm going to regret but yeah so excited look at that Cambodia let the mission begin <laughs> so I've just been informed that this place is called Aranya Vaket or something like that Aranya Vaket and they're gonna drop me off in Cambodia in a place called Sea Breeze apparently Sea Breeze and <laughs> something like that Apparently my visa's for 30 days. 30 days, I'm only going for two weeks, so uh, yeah, good enough. Finally, I've got to wait four hours for my uh, sleeper bus to take me to um, Chinookville. Well, go to Pound Pen first, and I'll get a mini bus to Chinookville. I've decided to stop off in this little restaurant for my first, first meal in Cambodia. To be honest, um, I'm having, to be honest, my first impressions, dirty yeah streets ain't as clean as thailand no, a little bit dirty but hey do you know what it's my first day here i'm not going to make assumptions maybe it's just this uh, town i'm in anyway i'm in the border border town whatever it is cm something or other this meal is costing me uh, about 50 baht altogether that's with a can of coke it's pork fried rice which is about 125 175 can't complain at that something's turned out good at last Fried rice, the pork, a little bit of a soup thing going on as well. First meal in Cambodia. Mm. Do a bit of seasoning. Chuck a 
lime, a bit of lime on there. A bit of chili. That always goes down. That always goes down well, doesn't it? A little bit careful on it because I don't want to overdo it, especially not as I've got another 12 hour bus ride. <laughs> Last thing you want for a good long bus ride is to have a, um, yeah, a dodgy stomach. Jelly belly, as they say. Anyway, back to the food. Pork stir fried, uh, stir fried rice. Better. Nice. Try a bit of this soup. sauce in it. In fact, I'm going to put a bit of this sauce on here as well. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but it's mine. I'll pay for it. I'll do what I like. Do what I like. as far as to say virgin on good really good first meal in Cambodia pretty impressed huh. okay it is only egg fried rice pork but or Fifty. And that's with a can of coke, bowl of soup, egg fried rice, can of coke, one pound fifty. Bit of a no-brainer, really, isn't it? Good shit. Just something that caught my eye whilst I was eating my dinner. I mean, look at this. This is the power lines. This is the power cables. You know, for all the power lines and stuff. I have seen nothing like it. Jesus Christ. BT safety officers would have a field day with that, wouldn't they? Never mind electricians, you wouldn't know where to start. It's like a right old bird's nest. It reminds me of my fishing days. Now, I've just got through um, immigration and passport control and everything at the uh, border and behind me you see that bus now I was told it's gonna cost me 1,500 uh, to get to uh, where I'm going on the bus well as usual I get here and they say oh Asian people are very small so you won't actually fit in one of their bed things so I've had to pay another 400 baht which is pretty much well, give or take a tenner. Do you know what? It's getting a bit frightening because everywhere you turn your head, someone's trying to scam you, or skim you, should I say. But hey, you know what? That's the way it is, I guess. Next time, I'm gonna have to plan it a little bit better. Just be careful, because you're just gonna get, my advice is when you get, when you're in Thailand, book a direct trip, direct trip to Ko, um, to Ko Rong, because otherwise you're just getting tripped over all the time. Any chance they get, get a little bit more off you a little bit more a little bit of this a little bit of that i mean i've got to pay extra because i need a double seat because i'm a big parang a big englishman <laughs> might have to go on a diet i think anyway there you have it skim off all the... just be careful being skimmed off all the time well it's four o'clock in the morning after 24 hours on a bus and traveling i've arrived at the capital here and on pen in um, Cambodia and now I'm waiting for a minibus to take me to Sihanouk which is on the coast and from there I'll get the boat to Koh Rong hopefully <laughs> hopefully progressing gracefully this is a sleeping boat 
bus. Beds on the bus. Well, this is my little, my little shack for the night. It's a sleeping bus, and this is my little bed, which is quite appropriate and suits its purpose. Well, I just arrived at the um, ferry port in Sianuk. This is the ferry port. It's cost me $25, basically for a return ticket. So that's about about tenner each way, which is fair enough. $25 return. I'm happy with that. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get to the island, to Korong. But there you have it. Ferry port in Siena, Siena, oh, Sianuk, Sianuk. I still have trouble getting his uh, names right.